back in 2014, we received a Facebook message. Despite the bit of scepticism that we had, we decided to call. We spoke with a German lady who runs a donkey sanctuary in southeast Queensland in Australia, who had one lone orphan camel, namely the Queen of Sheba, who you could tell just by talking to this lady, she was very loved. It was time for Queen Sheba to be a camel. This meant to be with other camels. Her owner wanted this for her and saw the opportunity that we could give her within our herd of camels. So with some careful consideration, we decided we would give Queen Sheba a forever home. So we packed our bags, hitched up the trailer for a 3,200 kilometer trip to meet Queen Sheba and bring her home to become part of our camel family. This is part one of her story. set off on our journey to Queensland to go get a new camel. Queen Sheba is her name. Um, today's plan is to drive. Um, we've got a lot of, it's about 19 hours away. Um, we've got three, three of our three children with us. So um, we're heading out and um, doing the best we can with that. So we plan on um, driving first to Gundaroo in um, New South Wales, which is just outside of Canberra. We've got some lovely friends to catch up with there. From, um, they're from the Outback Show. Check them out on Facebook. And they've got a couple of camels that we're going to um, say good day to and some bullocks and horses and um, what else? They have dogs and, of course, them. So we're really looking forward to that. And we're hoping to get a painting done by a camel. Um, apparently Daphne the camel paints pictures so you know the kids are really looking forward to having um, Daphne paint them their own personal picture um, and then we're going to keep driving from there so we're going to stay there a few a uh, few hours and then from there we're going to keep driving up the coast um, towards uh, Boona in Queen, South East Queensland so we'll keep you posted on the updates Bombola at the moment in the high country. Lovely, lovely looking country. Lots of thistles. I reckon they need camels here to do their weed control. Honey, <coughs> can you just stick your hand out the window for a second see if it's windy? <coughs> Car's struggling a bit. Day, so I'll let Tara tell you all about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we so Andy 
our debriefing of yesterday, was, it was an interesting day. I think we ended up driving about 15 hours in total, um, mainly because we took a few wrong roads um, and oh, just stopping in between and stuff. Um, yeah, but, and also we almost ran out of fuel, which was Russell's fault. Um, <laughs> so it's been very exciting. Um, the kids have been great. We've got three children in the back and they've just been great. It's actually Russell that's been the issue. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so yeah, today um, we're going to drive about 10, 10 hours to get to Boona in Queensland to meet Queen Sheba and her owner Hike um, from Boona Destiny um, Donkey Farm. So we're going to meet some donkeys too. And um, yeah, get to bond with um, um, Sheba the camel and see, negotiate whether we can get her in a float and how we're going to get her in a float to take her back home to Victoria. And we also, um, yesterday we had a fabulous time with um, the Outback show with Karen and Luke there with their horses and bullocks and camels and Daphne the camel did our kids a beautiful painting. She's um, paints, this is a camel that paints, so you check them out on Facebook, the Outback show. Um, yeah, it was great. Great seeing them and it was a big day yesterday and we're pretty fried because we got to our accommodation in um, northern New South Wales, almost central New South Wales, um, about 1am this morning. Wake up. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then our little son decided that it was playtime, not time for sleeping, so not mentioning any names. <laughs> plan today is just to drive, just to get to our destination and stay there the night and then spend the whole day tomorrow um, bonding with Sheba and spending some time with some camels and um, just letting the kids, you know, have a good run. They've, they've been awesome. Why? Because my head's better. <laughs> we are um, almost at our destination, which yeah. is Boona Destiny Donkey Farm. Or Destiny Boona Donkey Farm. Destiny Donkey Farm Boona. <laughs> I think I got that right. It's in Boona. So we're probably about five hours away right now. So we've just had a rest stop and it's nice to get some fresh air and um, very green around here in Queensland. No, we're not in Queensland yet, are we? No, no. In New South Wales. Mm -hmm. Um, near Coffs Harbour, the big banana, so we'll give you a shot of that. Um, and we think we're going bananas from all this travelling, but it's going to be worth it when we get there and we're really going to enjoy our time there with um, the donkeys and also getting to know Sheba the camel before we load her up and take her back to Victoria. Um, we're going to, when we get back to Victoria, we're going to train her, aren't we? Yep, we oh, sure are. How are we going to do that? Oh, that's a secret. Can't let you know. You have to stay tuned for that one. We'll be showing you all the training and how Sheba's going. We're actually going to take Sheba on um, our seven-day charity trek for in, in August 2014 for um, Empower International, which is basically helping end child sex slavery. So watch out for that because she'll be part of that team and um, the cause that we're trekking for that week. So that's our update today, or right now. Is it, it feels like we're, we're totally lost track of time. It's everywhere we're tired mm. here's your voice and my voice is gone <laughs> i'm sick but yeah it's okay everyone's holding up the kids are doing great and everyone it's great tight stop that <laughs> joke <laughs> yeah you're funny
My first impressions of Sheba, as soon as I saw her in the paddock, I actually knew that she'd been treated with a, a lot of respect and a lot of love. Um, her eye was very gentle, she wasn't erratic um, by any measure, she was certainly curious as to who we were coming over there, but she, she didn't show any signs of any mistreatment in the past whatsoever, you could tell that she'd been loved, very much loved camel. Uh, well the plan today is to go and put the holder on the camel, bring the camel into the race, just slowly, slowly, inch by inch, move her towards the trailer, and then getting the camel, getting her first steps, her first uh, steps onto the ramp, tightening the rope, so that eventually she'll go ahead and pull back, and then she'll relax. And when she relaxes, then we inch the rope a little bit further, so she goes ahead and moves forward inch by inch. Once she's actually in the trailer, See how it goes. It's not easy. Sometimes it just happens like that. A walk in. Other times, um, it's a ah. so it's just a matter of do it. <laughs> 